All right, with our um, rational functions, again, the first step we should always do is always factor whatever we can in the numerator and denominator. The top becomes x plus 3 times x minus 2. And the denominator remains at x plus 1. The simplified form is exactly the same. There's nothing that cancels out. We don't have any removable discontinuities. There were no um, factors in the denominator that canceled out, but we do have one non-renewable asymptote. We'll solve for x plus 1 equals 0. That's at x equals negative 1, so I'll go ahead and plot that one in. For the roots, we have two possibilities, x plus 3 and x minus 2 equals 0. So we have roots at x equals negative 3 and x equals 2, giving us two points negative 3, 0, and 2, 0. I'll go ahead and plot those guys in. All right. For the domain, we're just going to um, put in the one break of this non-removable asymptote. So negative infinity to negative 1 union negative 1 to infinity, or x cannot equal negative 1. Either or will work. And then for the equation of the slant asymptote, we'll take the original equation and just think about what the division process looks like. x plus 1 goes into this equation x times, so we get x squared plus x. When I subtract, I get a remainder, because it can't go into it, of negative 6, which I don't care about. I just care about this quotient to get the equation of this slant or asymptote. This won't be really something you need in calculus, but it's good to remind ourselves. So at y equals x, we have this slant asymptote. I could plug in more points to make my life easier, but I'm going to be lazy today. I know that this function is going to look like this and approach those asymptotes. All right, key features found.